Welcome to my video. Hello, everybody. I hope you had a good 4th of July weekend. I wanted to talk about this piece of footage right here from Mr. Robert Dodson, uploaded a few weeks ago, entitled Bigfoot Hunter, So You Call Yourself a Researcher. Now, you may have heard about this one uh, in this footage. He captures something pretty significant, face of a Bigfoot, or so he claims. So I wanted to take a look at it. Now, most people will tell you that uh, it uh, is most prominently seen at about the 240 mark. But as I was looking through this, I noticed it's seen quite a few places in this piece of footage. The first time you see it is about the 115 mark or so, and you can see the timeline marker right there. And there it is, right there, back there through the bushes. Very interesting. Now, in all, I count about seven different times as when he pans away and pans back, and you can still see that creature back there. So what I wanted to do was take a closer look at it. Of course, the best thing I can do is zoom in it and stabilize it. Now, here it is stabilized, but not zoomed in. And uh, I'll just kind of manually jog it back and forth here. So the area you're looking at is right back here. So what could this possibly be? Well, the first thing I want to rule out is parallax. I know a lot of people have made some comments that this is most likely some kind of parallax error. And I do not believe that's what it is. Now, I've used parallax to uh, debunk motion in other videos uh, where obvious parallax error was causing the illusion of movement of some subject off in the distance. But for parallax to somehow cause a bunch of leaves to line up in such a perfect manner to create a face that's this good uh, is... It's a one in a million chance. I just don't think it's possible. And if it was parallax, the motion that you see from the camera right here would eventually bring all that stuff out of alignment and the face would just kind of disappear. And it doesn't do that. Now, another possibility, and here it is zoomed in, would be some kind of what's called periodola or matrixing. Now, periodola is the human mind's ability to perceive patterns from inanimate objects such as a face or a body. Again, that's a real, real long shot. Uh, for this to be periodola, again, one of the main chance. Most of the things you see, you know, you look at a tree trunk and it looks like a face or you look at a cloud and it looks like a body or something like that. It sort of looks like a face or sort of looks like a body. You know, paranormal researchers uh, call it matrixing. You know, somebody will say the, see the face in an orb or something like that or, or the body of a human in, in some kind of a mist. And it kind of looks like that, but nothing this good. This is a really, really well-defined face, right? You have eye sockets, brow ridge, nose, beginning of a mouth right there. You have what looks like fur surrounding the face. I mean, that's just a well-put-together face and cannot be explained by either parallax or periodola. Now to note, this is a face that lines up with what we know about these creatures. It is described just like this in thousands of eyewitness reports, many, 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 many eyewitness sketches, and artist renderings. It very closely resembles the creature in the Patterson Gimlin footage and the Freeman footage. So, it's a very well put together face that closely resembles what we know about Sasquatch. Well, there are a couple of other possibilities. Could it be a hoax? Well, of course it could be. Now, I've gone on record as saying that I believe the available evidence supports the existence of these creatures. But I also believe that there is a lot of evidence that supports a lot of fakery out there. So, what exactly would it take to hoax something like this? I'll just go on and say it right now that if this is a hoax, it is a very, very good one. If it is some kind of a mask that is being worn by an actor, it is a mask that would probably have to be created by somebody with a lot of experience and knowledge in that subject, somebody like a Hollywood special effects artist. Does Mr. Dodson have the, create, uh, the ability to create a, a mask like this? I highly doubt it. Does he have the monetary means to go and hire somebody to create a mask like this? Again, I highly doubt it. Now, here it is, zoomed in 
Now, something to note here, usually when I go in and zoom in on a, a, a piece of footage I pull off YouTube, generally don't get past 200% before it becomes so pixelated that you can't really pick out any more detail. But this is all the way into 380% and the detail is still there. And you have some very good detail. Again, you have very good eye orbits, very good nose right there, beginnings of a mouth that's a little bit obscured behind some foliage in the foreground. But again, that is a very well put together face with a very good amount of detail. So the other possibility, if we're talking about hoaxes, and again, I don't mean to imply that this is hoax, but you know we have to, you know we have to include it in the possibilities here. The other possibility is some kind of CGI rendering, and as I talk about this, I'll move it forward through uh, some other effects I added to kind of bring out and look at more detail. Here it is in in black and white. In the process of stabilizing this. I basically have to take this footage and I have to move frame by frame and manually correct it for the motion of the camera. Somebody who was doing a CGI render would have to do the same thing, but he would also have to make sure that the face is perfectly proportioned and first perfectly positioned each frame for the motion of the camera, as well as placed an image inside this digital rendering. So does Mr. Dodson have that capability of doing it? Well, I highly doubt it. Again, now he would probably have to go out and hire somebody or know somebody who does it. <clears throat> and looking at the video from uh, from beginning to the end, as it was uh, uploaded to YouTube, I don't see any evidence of any edit points or anything of that nature that would point to any kind of manipulation of the video before he uploaded it. So I highly doubt that it is any kind of a CGI rendering, and I highly doubt that it is some kind of a person wearing a mask back there. So that leaves the fourth possibility. That Mr. Dotson, through his habituation and baiting activities, has managed to capture the face of a living Sasquatch. So I'm going to leave you with this image right here. And I'll close by saying, you know, I've always said in the past that if I was going to go on record and say that I believe that something in a piece of footage is a living, breathing Sasquatch, that I would have to see the entire body. I'd have to see it walk, I'd have to see it move, I'd have to get an idea of limb proportions, body mass, the hair or the fur, is it dynamic, static, can I see the muscles moving under, uh, underneath? I never thought that I would look at a piece of footage like this and only see the face and really believe that I'm looking at a real creature. So I'm going to go on record right now and say that I believe that Mr. Dotson has captured an image of a living, breathing Sasquatch. So congratulations to him. Uh, I hope he follows up on it and does some more investigation in that area. So there you go. That's my opinion. Let me know what you think. And thanks for watching. Have a nice day.